please, for the love of God, someone's uncle that's working at Google watching this, fix the dislike botting on my channel because now the big oopsie has been exposed? We're totally cooked, right? This has to be the pinnacle of dead internet if Discord can view bot 1.4 billion views in less than 24 hours, get number one on trending, and nothing. Google doesn't care, YouTube doesn't care, you can just get away with that. And you like to pretend, you like to imagine Google cares a slight amount, that they don't want to defraud their advertisers, that the TOS means something, and you can't just view bot and dislike bot and like bot and actually create like fake engagement through embeds and stuff, but no. Th this is where we're at. Com like, no systems in place for one of the largest company, trillions in valuation. Nothing to stop this. You just get away with it. And there's just so many implications. Like, how much did this cost YouTube? Also, like, is Discord a, a partner channel? Are they even monetized? Or they do they not care because they're a business that just uploads updates infrequently or something? I is YouTube still running ads on this? I don't know. I've got YouTube Premium. It's so, like, is it like the thing is if you're not partnered YouTube can run ads on your video So are they getting the full ad revenue? Is this actually like a net positive for YouTube because they, they just made like a billion views worth of money That they desperately need because I'm pretty sure YouTube still isn't profitable or is, is it, this just lost? This is just like consumed by the server Discord's just running it in the background Everything's fine. It, are YouTubers going to get hurt by this by the way use code Verlisify 20% off your G Fuel order, get any crazy great flavor because now you're going to need it. Now I'm going to need it. I need, I need the money because who knows what's happening to the infrastructure of YouTube. This is Adpocalypse 3.0. Go on sale, find yourself some deals, find yourself some great flavors, and just like at least be amped and be hyped as it all falls apart. So what actually happened here? Discord managed to create a working YouTube view bot in 2024. You shouldn't be able to do that! This is not 20, this is in 2009, 2011, where like you could actually just run things like this and they would kind of count and sometimes you hear about people getting banned, but apparently it just doesn't matter. So they play their loot box announcement trailer on loop in the background of the in-app toast. Okay, my question is the same as everyone's. What's an in-app toast? The little pop-up in the bottom right of your Discord app, not edible, but I guess it wouldn't stop you from trying. So like, yeah, this little pop-up, that's just looping the YouTube video for billions of views by just having your app open. It's run in the background. And there's all kinds of fraud that we've seen like this where it's like, oh, how's the Switch stream getting so many views? Well, it's actually an embed on the wiki and it's just auto playing and same thing for a lot of other views. And it, it nothing, no stop, no TOS. YouTube doesn't block those. YouTube doesn't count those like, right. Could have sworn YouTube in embeds that autoplay don't give embedded video views, views, right? They have to use a different method, surely, right? Nope, just embedding normal iframe, but my own research, embedded views do actually count for the view count. Would figure that YouTube will dedupe later. So yeah, like, they're probably going to fix this at some point. But the fact that it happened... And like you could just get away with it like the smaller scale who's already been doing this what botters are now seeing this and developing apps where it's like wait we can just autoplay strategically in the background and all that's going to count maybe we even soak up some ad revenue or something or we offer a botting service off of this as a creator this also brings into question everything about youtube because like oh i thought you had to watch a video for a couple of seconds for it to count as a view but through a lot of people just like skimming analytics, that never seemed to be the case. Or that there'd be more scrutiny to actually counting and tracking a view, especially after the old like 301 thing. Remember when YouTube videos would freeze at 301 because they wanted to va validate view counts and they said nah, and now they're on like a live service where they're just updating whenever? Yeah, there's no scrutiny anymore. They need the numbers, which is also weird because like YouTube's gotta be struggling with shorts. They just converted, you know, 50% of the traffic on the site to a lower ad revenue short form thing that you like you never get all that value back you get 10 cents per thousand views on a short so if you made a 10 minute video instead that's worth three dollars per thousand views y youtube's losing 60 70 percent of their ad revenue just by trying to compete with tiktok warning i'm about to jump scare you with one of the most cursed ai things ever but this is what's what facebook has become shrimp jesus or just jesus anything and for some reason like asian airline stewardesses 
and, and weird stuff like that. And these are getting tens, hundreds of thousands of likes and engagements. Like, it can't be all botted activity. And also, why is Facebook allowing botted activity to flow every this into everyone's recommended? All, everyone just kind of like NPCing out, or also these are bot replies, but then there's actual humans getting caught up in it as well. I did an entire video about it. Fortunately, my Facebook isn't that cursed, it's just fake interior design. Also, buff shirtless men, because I was in a Discord call with my friends, and they're like, hey, you know Graves is gay in the lore now, and because Facebook is always listening, great, my recommended's just cooked. Oh yeah, and AI Pokemon art. They can't keep getting away with this! And the normies just don't understand what's going on. Their derangement is causing them to attack Elon's Twitter, even though Elon and X are trying to do the most out of any social media platform to counteract and stop all of this that's going on. So mass formation and NPC behavior is turning the few remaining humans on the dead internet into bots anyways, and it's all just fueling nonsense. So this is just wrong. Twitter, actual humans in replies? No, there was just as many bots. I have personally experienced more bots before X, and also X is growing. Like, Elon keeps coming out with numbers with like, yeah, there's more users on X now than Twitter, and it's growing, and it's doing pretty well, and there's actually like things being done about the bots on a larger scale than Twitter did, because Twitter was using that to inflate their numbers. That way they could have someone like a chump like Elon buy it off at an overinflated value, because Twitter was hemorrhaging money. No bots on my timeline. Yeah, that's just wrong. Actual relevant replies. Now that's a 50-50. Some replies are only like spam videos under a viral post. Other ones like, yeah, you're seeing better floated replies and more balanced engagement on a lot of posts. But there are some where it's just like, oh, this is, this is unusable. And that has to do with making the source code available. And then people are like dissecting the algorithm and like algorithm rigging. This is what every platform has to deal with. But because one of them is open about it, oh, that, that makes them bad. Even though, like, YouTube and Google and Facebook are all fighting the same thing with their equally trash algorithms. No paywalls, hemorrhaging money. Better moderation. No over-moderation, that means you weren't allowed to talk or say anything. Just chill. No, it was, it was just hate and more charge, because you only had one voice allowed. X, bots everywhere. Ignoring that every platform is more botted and has it worse and is inorganic and that's been the trend since 2016 which is interesting because I've been complaining about YouTube being trash since 2016 I started getting dislike botted in late 2017 and dead internet pins it around that time Oh, it all comes together. Realistify always right. No relevant replies anywhere. That's just a lie See that's like when when people have to lie about the past and over dramatize the present to make their point and again just like oh this dude's actually a bot or has become a human bot through brain rot great majority bots not a majority extreme engagement farming again that's kind of like with the open algorithm which you want you want transparency transparency good thing but bad actors will exploit that and there needs to be systems in place to stop that but no social media is stopping it no one is doing it better than x x is trying harder more than any other platform as we've seen annoying paywalls bro th this for free is one of the most incredible like marvels of the modern times no regard regard for moderation there's still moderation owner doesn't know how to run it properly subjective so all right no one knows what's going on everything's dead internet somehow youtube thought this was cool also the people behind the discord viewbot don't even know what's going on as well should mention they presumably did this accidentally even when the high up developers was confused as to how it's happening how's this video getting so many views and i'm upset because like i said i get dislike botted i've done a lot of coverage about this i've talked about it a lot but youtube support would just tell me oh there's no dislike botting and any fraudulent dislikes will be removed guess what they were never removed and it, it just seems like there's nothing in place even in 2024 let alone when this started back in december of 2017 I immediately jumped on this. I immediately tried to get help. Please, for the love of God, someone's uncle that's working at Google watching this, fix the dislike botting on my channel because now the big oopsie has been exposed. And then you think, oh, how many large channels made it big and got to stay there because they view botted and like botted. This actually started because I called out Pimp Knight because I was able to catch him botting his videos for gain. And then mysteriously and magically, my videos started getting dislike botted. It's almost like he has access to that. And a lot of uh, anecdotal stuff from other people in the community, like, oh yeah, Pimp Knight definitely botting his content. I think someone else that called him out also got dislike botted, but then he made sure to end my channel and YouTube doesn't care and they still don't care because as we've seen with Facebook, without this, 
Facebook is dead. Even, even though this is as dead internet as it gets, but then there's less engagement. There's less people on it. You guys don't even know. I've been dialed into this stuff for years. It's probably all the G Fuel that has me like algorithm whispering like I'm in the Matrix or something. And now I get to go completely crazy off of all this stuff because it's happening and it's playing out. And my career has been significantly harmed by all the impacts of this. And I was the crazy person for the last seven years. And now I get to go even crazier. It's all because Discord made an oopsie. But turns out everyone's always botting anyways. And the internet, there's nothing left. Cool. This is the future that's been made. And everyone's attacking Elon for trying to actually bring like humans back into communication with each other. Or something like that. There we go. That's what's going on. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.